Hi, my name is John Sippel, and I'm a software engineer in an applied research team with Google. Hi, I'm Judah Goldfeder. I'm a PhD student at Columbia and a student researcher at Google. We're here at ICML. We're going to be giving a talk on our work on smart buildings, where we're trying to apply optimal control to optimize the HVAC systems of commercial buildings, actually starting on Google's very own office buildings. The problem that we're trying to solve uh, in our smart buildings effort is we're, we're trying to increase the efficiency and uh, sustainability of Google buildings and other buildings elsewhere using artificial intelligence and, and machine learning. So buildings are responsible for about 40% of carbon emissions in the world. Uh, and so quite simply, if we can reduce that number even by a very small amount, the impact could be enormous. Now, obviously the impact will only be enormous if you can do this at scale. And so that's kind of one of our focuses. Uh, but it can have immediate impact on reducing carbon emissions, cutting costs, and helping us be more green. So we're really excited about uh, combining two different types of technologies in our talk. The first one is using a custom designed open source uh, simulation that we've created uh, here at Google uh, for buildings. Uh, and then we're combining that with Gemini to control that building. So we're excited to show kind of how it works in real time. One of the things that we think is really cool about this approach is that it doesn't suffer from sample efficiency like a lot of reinforcement learning algorithms do, and we think it has a real advantage. Another real big advantage of this approach is that it describes everything it's doing, it justifies everything, and it explains why a particular set point was selected uh, and things like that. There are a couple of real challenges here um, with that. The first challenge is that it's very hard to build a an offline, do offline training uh, with the simulation because simulations are hard to configure. And so it's very difficult to scale this up for many, many buildings. So we've developed a, an approach uh, that we're demonstrating um, using, using a lightweight simulator that you can train an agent with. And we're also experimenting with uh, using Gemini right out of the box to control the, the building without doing any, any additional pre-training. So to demonstrate uh, the difficulty of this particular problem, I can just tell a, uh, a brief story. It was warm outside in the Bay Area, the building is warm, so the building has to be cooled. So the agent learned if you get uh, a little bit of cooling, you get a small amount of reward. So it naturally uh, inferred that if you give it a lot of cooling, you'll get a lot of reward. Unfortunately, what happened was uh, it lowered the, su the supply air temperature and increased the static pressure and created a very cold whirlwind, which demonstrated how hard it is to actually get reinforcement learning to work in the real world. And this actually highlights one of the central challenges, which is we have lots of real world data, but all of our data was produced under the baseline policy. And so even if we try to use that data, it's not going to generalize well outside of that distribution. One of the purposes of our simulator is to try to introduce some examples that are out of the distribution Hopefully that's enough to actually get our agent to understand a bit more of the underlying physics that's going on in the building. We're going to be demoing this on our open source HVAC simulator. So we released the simulator on GitHub. It's uh, Google slash SBSim. So we are absolutely looking for people to contribute. If anyone's interested, please reach out to us. The goal of our simulator is to enable control algorithms to scale. So basically, if you develop an algorithm on one building, will it work on another building? Probably not. Our simulator is very lightweight and it's very easy and rapid to configure. And so that's how we're gonna be demonstrating our uh, agent. Also, um, we are John and I are organizing the first ever workshop on buildings at a machine learning conference. It's called CoBuild, it's gonna be on Friday. And we're bringing together experts from basically the entire world, uh, people that are researching how AI can be applied to buildings. We're super excited.